are here at High Tech in Orlando, and I'm sitting here with Ted Helvey, who is the CEO of Nomadics. Ted, it's great to have you joining us. Thanks for Thank being you. here. Let's get started, Ted. We've got three quick questions to go through. First one being, we always like to ask our guests, how did you get to where you are today? What's your career journey? Talk, talk to us a little bit about your career path. Uh, well, I uh, grew up in Silicon Valley and taught myself how to program a computer and uh, I was in software and then when the internet rolled along, that seemed pretty exciting and I got involved with that. Uh, and I was actually recruited from a company called Netcom that was one of the early internet service providers to a company that later became known as Ibon that was mm -hmm. going to put high-speed internet access in hotel rooms. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really realize at that point I was leaving uh, technology as I knew it to hotel technology. And uh, I really enjoy it. Uh, I, I, I find it fascinating. Particularly I enjoy the the guest is always going to have new expectations so they walk into that hotel and the hotelier is going to have to respond you know what one way or another and so as new technology comes on the market and comes into our home or other environments how does that impact the hotel and figuring that out and then as a, as a technology provider to say how do i do it in a way that the hotel can still manage it that a service provider can manage it uh, and that the guest has a great experience. So I, I find that uh, exciting. So I've been involved in this now for, for many years and uh, very excited to be uh, at Nomadics and, mm -hmm. and developing. We're, we're a product company and a multi-product company. Yeah, I was, I was about to say that you guys do have multiple products now available on the market. Anything from authentication to Wi-Fi routers to, to now uh, casting services. So when, given where we are today and technology's role in the hotel, what would you consider would be the three key areas around te the technology that Nomadics offers where you would think that these are the most important touch points that we need to focus on? Well, the, the first thing we always begin with is the guest experience. You, if you start there and you're focused on a positive guest experience, uh, everybody wins, you know, in, in that, that cycle. And so we focus on that, and again, as I was mentioning, what their desires might be, you know, that I, I cast, I'm used to watching my own Netflix or whatever, that's what I want to be able to do. Where back in the day, I remember when we were selling video on demand, and that was, you know, but it, it changes, and mm. a lot of people invest heavily in that, are like, what do I have now? You know, the, the guest has spoken, and they want to watch their own content. So. You know, we we developed that. We actually um, have a, a strong team. We've we've probably about tripled our R&D since uh, I joined the company uh, about three and a half years ago. But the the basic model, Nomadics, was founded by guys in white lab coats in the labs yeah. of of UCLA. Actually, the guy that is the founder of the company, uh, it was his lab that sent the first uh, uh, message over the ARPANET to Stanford, right. you know, and they celebrated it's 53 years ago this year. So really we're scientists and we're, they created what they called the visitor based network. They foresaw that this interconnectivity is going to need to come. So when we came to the company, uh, it was about uh, authentication and bandwidth management and other things uh, of, of software that we have in an on-site box. But from my experience for being, being a hotel uh, provider of technologies was these new technologies are going to come and there's a Wi-Fi service provider that has talented people that rolls trucks, that pulls cables, that you know does stuff to support a hotel and then the hotel infrastructure uh, support staff itself. It's like there's other things and if we can have them be good and then even better together. And I take casting for example and we said okay. The problem with casting is that it is designed to be in a household. Yep. And so the first time I ever tried to cast, uh, I came out like, wow, my casting button, where I clicked on it, I could see every room in the hotel. Yep. I'm like, oh, that's yep. a little strange, you know. Yep. Now people learned uh, how do you pair and everything. Well, we looked at it and said, hey, well, we authenticated that device on the network. We already know what room it's in. Let's just pair it and not even do anything that the guest has to do. Because if the guest has to call the front desk, that, that is not what hoteliers no. want. And that, that's, that's the challenge that I see is how do you provide this technology? So we've rolled out, uh, you know, I, I see as the cornerstones of uh, the guest technology is 
uh, naturally Wi-Fi, but there's also telephone, there's television, and there's room control of some, some kind. And all of the technologies we've been developing and adopting, we've done some acquisitions, um, are around having a group of products that are great in each one of their categories, but work even better together. And we think that better together strategy helps wh who I tell, I say, first think about the guest, Next, think about the night manager at 2 a.m. when something's not working, you know. What is that person going to see? And then when they call the managed service provider who is also on the night shift, you know, uh, what are they going to be able to see and do and correct, you know, to try to, to, to make that? So those are the three constituencies. And then we looked at the brand and the ownership group. Those are people who are trying to manage multiple properties and trying to do it efficiently. They, not like in the old days where, oh, I have a tech guy out on, on you know, every, every property. It's just not that way anymore. And so particularly with the, the growth and select service, how do you manage that remotely? So when I look at it from a productization standpoint, I think that we develop, we, we develop uh, guest-facing technologies that include some type of edge device usually, but is cloud managed and the intelligence is in the cloud and the things are easily fixed. For example, our, our Angie product, product, which is a, a, a voice speaker, so people are familiar with Alexa and, and Google Home, uh, but we created the intelligence to say, okay, every single time you talk to Angie, assume, I told my engineer, it's a first date, assume they've never talked to anything before because my, my, my phone has trained me. I mean, if I don't say something to Siri the right way, she goes, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, okay, I'll get it right. I said, but you need to think about this the first time. And so we've created a vocabulary that we get almost 95% positive interaction now, which is much higher than, than sort of normal, if you will. But we thought, what is that experience? And then if for some reason that quits working, you can take the spare housekeeping. I said housekeeping is your installation. And they can pull it out, stick it in, say what room it is, and it downloads everything and it all just works the same. So we focus on the guest experience, but we know unless it is well suited to the property and to the managed service provider, we, we won't have a success. Yeah, yeah, very good. No, it's very interesting, it's very interesting stuff. Okay, and just finally then, Talking about guest experiences, what's one of your most memorable guest experiences during your travel? Hmm. Well, um, you know, a, a lot of them. Sometimes I'm getting called in where things aren't working. I'm supposed to come talk to a uh, customer that's that's uh, that's frustrated, but I don't. Uh, I have to say the ones that I met, remember the most are just my own. Uh, uh, experience actually casting is something I, I think is is a, is a game changer because I like to work work my own content. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I can't come up with a story off the top of my no. head. Uh, right. Sorry about that. No, that's fine. <laughs> no problems at all. Well, listen. Thanks for joining us. It was great to have you here. Great yeah, to talk. Hey, thanks thank for, you. Appreciate enjoy it. Enjoy it. Yeah. All enjoy right. the rest of the show. All right. Okay. Take care. Bye. Thanks everyone. Bye for now.